Welcome back to First and Ten. The two and two Hollister Tigers were at home tonight looking for a third consecutive victory in town. One and two Reed Spring. The Wolves did not play last week after Springfield Catholic had a COVID cancellation. So these two fighting for the backyard battle rivalry. The game didn't go to the dogs though. First quarter, third and eight from the nine. Reed Spring quarterback Matt Allison with the play action fake to Colton Cramblett, then throws it to him in the end zone when he drops it. Wolves had to settle for a field goal, 3-0, a Reed Spring. Wolves moving later in the game. Allison rolls right, hits Caden Weiss on the pass. Nice catch, and he picks up 23 yards in a first and 10, and that would set up this Matt Allison keeper. He goes up the middle for the touchdown. The kick was good. It was 10-0 Reed Spring, and Reed Spring holds off a Hollister rally to win this game 24-18. 0-4 Central Bulldogs in the middle of a three-game homestand tonight, hosting 1-3 Sarkoxy. Bears would strike first. Gabe Price keeps from three yards out, gets into the end zone. It was 8-0 Sarkoxy. The Bears would get more in the first quarter. Central's pass is picked off here by Justin Madera, and then he would return it across the field to the near sideline, turns the corner, and then takes it to the house. This is a 60-yard plus for a touchdown to make it 14-0 Sarkoxy. Bears up 20-0 when Central scores. Amias Hart throws to the flat to the far sideline. Jaden Lewis makes the catch, and then Lewis scampers 20 yards for a touchdown. That made it 20-6. Sarkoxy, though, goes to 2-3 with a 55-20 victory over Central. Let's take a look at your first and 10 week five scoreboard and taking a look at the scoreboard right now, Nevada. Uh, two touchdown win over Monette, 20 to seven. Ashgrove over Miller tonight, 42 to nothing. Should have been a score there. Lamar, big over Cassville, a 20 point win, 40 to 20 over Cassville. Ava, a one touchdown win over Salem, 22 to 14. Drexel, big over Osceola tonight, 89 to nothing. McDonald County had a game COVIDed out. They went to Kansas and then beat Frontenac, 39 to 13. Big upset tonight, Aurora, 36-35 over Buffalo. Buffalo was unbeaten on the year. Carthage is the number one team in their class. They're unbeaten, 33-10 over Branson. They are 4-0. Webb City beats Carl Junction tonight, 28-14. North Callaway over Stratford. That one was 22-14. Another upset tonight in Mount Vernon. The Mountaineers lose to the Rogersville Wildcats, 29 to 23. Lebanon over Glendale tonight, 57 to 20. Pierce City denied Clever its first win of its high school varsity history, 34 31. Mountain View Liberty over Willow Springs, 20 to 13. Kabul over Mountain Grove, 26 to 12. Marionville is unbeaten on the year. They are 5 0 with a 30 point win over Diamond, 51 to 21. Fairgrove over Stockton tonight, 58 32. Ozark beats Republic 35 to 28. Ozark, the Tigers are four and one on the season. Summit Christian over El Dorado Springs, 43 to six. And Mountain Home, Arkansas losing to Lake Hamilton. Waynesville over Hillcrest, 31 27. Bolivar beats Camdenton, 38 26. In the final score tonight, Skyline 40 point winner over Forsyth tonight, 46 to six. It's gonna wrap it up for this week's show. Before we go, a couple of more scores uh, that we can tell you about. The Milwaukee Brewers and the Cardinals playing a doubleheader. Milwaukee wins the first game 3-0, but the Cardinals take the nightcap 9-1. Kansas City slips past Detroit 3-2. And Missouri State plays at Central Arkansas tomorrow night. We will have highlights on the news. It's gonna wrap it up for week five of first and ten. Have a great weekend, everybody.